Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to see how to swap an exhaust manifold on the A7G635 engine, it means the 1.4 liter petrol engine from Renault. We have a major crack into the exhaust manifold of an A7G635 petrol engine from Renault. This is the 1.4 liter 8 valve. So here are the spare parts. So you can have a close look to the stickers to have the references. So here is the exhaust manifold. Then you have a bag with hardwares in which you have the exhaust manifold gasket. Then you have the studs to fix the exhaust manifold to the engine block. You have a kind of a cap. Then you have the studs to fix the heat shield. Then the nuts to fix the exhaust manifold. And you have two studs to fix the catalytic converter. In normal condition, the exhaust gases go out into the intake manifold and pass through the oxygen sensor here represented in green. This O2 sensor sends information to the ECU and the ECU will send injector pulses to feed the engine in fuel. As we have a major crack on our exhaust manifold, some of the gases go out of this crack, so the O2 sensor consider this as a lean air fuel mixture. So the auto sensor will send the wrong information to the ECU and to solve this lean situation the ECU will send a wider injector pulse. As a result we will have a poor fuel economy and we will, we will have also unburned gases into the exhaust pipes which can lead to damages to the catalytic converter here represented in yellow. For safety measure with a 8 mm socket and a ratchet remove the battery negative terminal. With a ratchet and a 10 mm socket, remove the nuts here represented in red. So first of all we need to soak generously all the studs and the nuts. So the first thing we are going to do is to separate the catalytic converter from the exhaust manifold. So to do so we will release a retaining ring which is represented here in red.
All right. So now, just do the same thing for the seven nuts instead of the exhaust manifold. So those nuts are quite rusty. So don't be afraid if when you remove the nuts, the studs might come with it because everything is gripped and stuck. All right, so the exhaust manifold is released and we can see that we have some remaining studs into the cylinder head. To remove the studs, we are going to use two nuts, uh, tighten one on each other and with a nice spanner trapped behind the second nut, we will be able to remove the studs. To my surprise, the studs all are drilled through the engine coolant gallery, so we will need to address this when we will remount the exhaust manifold. To avoid leaks, wrap Teflon tape on the threads of the studs put back the studs on the cylinder head then uh, you can place back the exhaust manifold gasket and by analogy you can put back all the studs on the new exhaust manifold With a 16 millimeter copper seal, you can refit the cap on the exhaust manifold. Degrease all the surfaces uh, with brake cleaner and fit back the exhaust manifold. Refill the engine coolant and here is the mileage for a road test. We all know that Teflon tape is used to seal thread in plumbing, but it has also a good temperature resistance. So, let's make a road test to see if it works. So let's see if the engine coolant level has changed. It's still to the max level, so the Teflon tape trick works. Thank you for watching and see you next time for more tutorials.